Now that we have defined what a shape is, let's move on to what perimeter means. Perimeter is just a fancy name that means the distance or length around a shape. But what exactly does distance around a shape mean? Well, that would be the distance you get if you trace the path exactly around the border or boundary of that shape. A good way to visualize what perimeter is, is to imagine that you can walk along the boundary of that shape. Take for example, this six-sided polygon. Imagine starting at one point on the polygon and then walking along each side until you come all the way back to the point where you started from. Mark the total distance that you traveled and that would be the perimeter of this polygon. Another good way to see what perimeter is, is to imagine that you take this polygon and cut it at one of its corners, then unfold the polygon such that it forms a straight line. Now, the length of this line is exactly equal to the perimeter of the polygon. So now that you know what perimeter is, shouldn't the next question be, how do we measure or calculate the perimeter of polygons? To do that, we will take some polygons and learn how to find their perimeter. But does that mean that we cannot calculate perimeter of other shapes? I mean shapes that have curves like circles or hearts? Well, we will come to this a little bit later. For now, we're just going to focus on how to find the perimeter of polygons. Why? Because polygons are made from only straight lines and that's why it's easier to find their perimeter. The only thing that you will need to know is the length of all the sides. And then we add them up and the total length that you end up with is the perimeter of the polygon. Let's try doing that with a few examples so that you see how it works. The first polygon that we are going to be trying out is going to be a triangle. This triangle has three sides that are different from each other, like three centimeters, four centimeters, and five centimeters. Now, to find the perimeter of this triangle, all that we will need to do is to sum up all these sides. That's going to be three plus four plus five, and that will be 12. Not 12, but 12 centimeters. Always remember to write down the units along with the number. Okay, that was easy. Let's try another one. And this time, the polygon is going to be a rectangle. The shorter sides are of length 5 meters each and the longer sides have a length of 10 meters each. How do we find the perimeter? Well, just add them up. That is 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10, which is going to be 30. Don't forget the units. It's going to be 30 meters. Now, to give you a formula to do this easily, for this rectangle, there is a longer side, which we typically call length, and a shorter side, which we typically call breadth. Now, this length is going to be equivalent to this length, and this breadth is going to be equivalent to this breadth. To find the perimeter, all that we will have to do is to add up all these four sides. That is, two lengths and two breadths. In short, P is going to be equivalent to 2L plus 2B. You may have a question here. You may ask me, why do I actually need a formula to do something as simple as just adding these numbers up? Well, the answer is, if somebody tells you the length and breadth of a rectangle, you can quickly pull out this formula, plug in values, and you will get the perimeter. It just makes your life simpler. Let's take an example. If the length of the rectangle is, say, 8 centimeters and the breadth is 4 centimeters, then plugging values into this formulae, L will take a value of 8 and B will take a value of 4. So the perimeter P will be 2 times 8 plus 2 times 4, which is going to be 24 centimeters. Now, if you actually think about it, the formula for the perimeter of the square should be 4 times side, right? Because in a square, all the four sides are the same. So to get the perimeter, I just need to add all of it up. So it will become side plus side plus side plus side. And now if I have to write it in a much more simpler form, I will actually write it as 4s because multiplication is repeated addition. 
So the formula for this is going to become 4 times side or I can write it as 4s and short. If the length of the side of a square is 6 centimeters, then in our formula, s is going to be 6 and the perimeter will be 4s or 4 times 6 or 24 centimeters.